Hello, I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Here are the top stories. Tensions are rising in Jerusalem over the death of a 16-year-old Palestinian boy. The father of Mohammed Abu Qader says they are expecting to receive his body and bury him today. He was abducted and found dead on Wednesday. Many believe it was a revenge attack for the murders of three Israeli boys, but Israeli police are still searching for the killers and their motive. In Syria, the ISIS insurgency is gaining more ground. The Sunni militant group is believed to have captured the country's largest oil field northeast of al Mayadeen. A British-based monitoring group says the oil field was seized along with several villages on the Euphrates River. Hurricane Arthur has grown to be a Category 2 storm as it churns up the U.S. East Coast. Nearly 18,000 homes lost power as it made landfall in North Carolina Thursday night. Arthur is now traveling northeast with winds of around 160 kilometers an hour. World Cup host Brazil have a tough test when the quarterfinals start today. They play a Colombia team that has won all four of its previous matches. European powerhouses Germany and France will also play for a spot in the semifinals. Seven German players had flu-like symptoms, though, on Thursday. Those are the top stories. I'm Monita Rajpal. Thank you for joining me. African Voices starts right now.